what's going on guys it's me I'm back here again with a new series kind of kind of a new series called let's talk this is where I can talk about anything or anything I want from any range from technology to games to life anything anything goes with me when it's, uh, I'm gonna, when I'm on this let's talk so today's topic is the PlayStation 4 rumors some of you guys don't care some of you guys do care. Some of you guys are neutral, in between. You know, uh, for me personally, I'm 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 kind of neutral with it. You know, I, I do care, and then I don't care. You know, because it's not something you should really like take serious, like that serious. I mean, it's cool. It's really cool to look to see what they may put in it. You know, sometimes rumors can come true. Sometimes rumors are true. You know, and but it, it, it can be rare, you know. I think I saw the iPhone 5 rumor, and uh, it, it came out pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you; it came out almost, pretty, almost accurate right there. But the two rumors here on the PlayStation 4 is that the first rumor is there won't be any used games. I think some of you guys may have heard this before. There won't be any used games. Why? Why would they do this? Well, I think they're doing it. Personally, this is personally what I think. Feel free to disagree with your comment below. They're doing it because of money. It's all business. Used games, okay? They don't profit when, when you go and buy a used game, okay? They don't, the, the, the company does not profit when you buy a used game. Probably from GameStop, from another store, from online. Uh, they don't profit from it, you know, they just pure they just don't this, this is all about Business when you when you buy a new game. Yes, they profit from that Okay, and you go and you give your friends Let's say you buy uncharted and then your friends uh, come over to bar the game Okay, that's them losing money Okay, trust me. It's true. They're actually use losing Money because if the friend is not going out and buying it, or people are not going out and buying the game, you know themselves to play the bar from the friends, and that actually kind of cuts profit down. So this is all business, it really is. So how would this actually work if they were to incorporate this into the PlayStation 4? Well, obviously the game is going to be tied to the, either the PlayStation 4 or to the account, which I think is going to be tied to both of them. It can't be tied to just the PlayStation 4 alone. That's stupid. If the PlayStation 4 breaks, you're out. You gotta go buy another game. That, that, that's exactly what that would mean. If, it re if it's registered to your account, then you won't be able to play it. Put it in another PlayStation 4 and play it. So your friends can borrow the game and play. I think that that's what they may do. May, may not. I don't know. It really depends on them. On them but that's kind of sick and messed up to do something like that. Um... But uh, yeah, I, I don't think they should do it, you know, but they may, and if they do, I, I, then they're not as smart as I thought they were. That's kind of messed up. A lot of people is going to rage over that, okay? But at the end of the day, it's all business, okay? If everybody can go out there and buy the game themselves without borrowing it, okay, I'm pretty sure some of you guys had your friends come over and borrow your game. So if, if, if people can go out there and buy it, everyone can go out there and buy it and not borrow a game from their friends, profit margins will increase. That's that's what they want okay that's what they're, they're, they're striving for the second rumor is that it won't have any games it won't have any not, not it won't have any games it won't have any disc no physical media that CD that goes into that drive it won't have any of those it'll be download only this is rumor also I think that's a big problem because there's some people that don't have internet connectivity some people just want to buy the PS3 and just play the games and not go online not interact online, do anything online. Just want to buy it and just play it, you know. Uh, so if, if they can't have, if they don't have access to the internet, then they can't download the game. Another problem is, in the United States, the internet sucks ass. I'm just gonna flat out say, it's true, it sucks ass. Okay. Other countries have much faster internet than the United States, except for Kansas City. Them bitches got it good. Okay, they have a, a, a gigabit connection internet. You, if you have a, if you're watching this video, you're from Kansas City. God bless you, sir. God bless you. 
No, so the internet sucks in America, okay? I remember when I downloaded, when I bought MW2, it was Modern Warfare 2 I bought, and I downloaded this. I'm a PC gamer, I downloaded it from my computer. And I had a 3 megabit per second connection. That is really low! A 3 megabit connection, and it took me, god damn, it took me 11 to 12 hours to download. I had to leave my computer on all night! I had to leave it on all night for it to download. So that's that's the very big downside here to that. Okay, now everybody has fast internet, and now that thankfully, because I, I had the three megabits, per, three megabits per second connection, uh, now I have the uh, the twenty megabits per second connection from Taiwan Cable. The three megabits per second was from the, from uh, Verizon. I was stuck because the way I live, it didn't offer anything else. So finally, Taiwan Cable finally came in. I don't like them as much, but you know what? They gave me fast internet, which I'm kind of having problems right now. It's kind of, my, and my videos are kind of stuttering. I gotta I got talk to them about that shit. So, this could be a very big problem for downloading games. Really big. So, I, I don't know. We'll find out that E3 when it comes in, in March. I think E3 is in March. So, we'll find out all the rumors, everything will shine on E3 when it comes out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you later.